Hi, everyone. <laughs> uh, I got to do a gig for the All Blacks recently. I got to perform for the All Blacks. Wow, no one cares. Um, we don't care. <laughs> You're doing a gig for us. <laughs> so I got, a, I got an email from the All Blacks. Uh, not all of them, it was one guy. It wasn't, it, they weren't all around like, boys, what should the subject line be? <laughs> <laughs> One guy <laughs> sent me an email, and I said yes, um, which was great. I went to the hotel. I met him at the front of the hotel that the All Blacks were staying at. They were playing South Africa the next day. They were training all day that day, and they wanted a night of relief. Uh, well, that sounded sexual. So. <laughs> it was... <laughs> No. <laughs> it was like that, it was comedy, it's comedy. I met the guy there and he's like, hey man, so happy you said yes to this gig. I've told the boys that I've got a surprise entertainer, which is already a red flag, because in my mind, that's universal language for, we got a stripper. And <laughs> no one wants to see these hairy nipples. So, so he takes me into a room. The room is like three meters by three meters. It's tiny, right? So when I walk into the room, in my mind, I'm like, oh, great, this is the waiting room. This is where I'll chill, and then he'll come back and take me to where the All Blacks are, right? So I'm in the room, I'm standing there. 20 minutes go by. This guy walks back into the room, and all the All Blacks are following him. And then they all just sit on the ground, like a room of giant children. <laughs> it's like I'm in a classroom for big ass kids. Some of them start talking, I'm very tempted to go, hey, hey, one, two, three, eyes on me. <laughs> it's so weird. They're just sitting there on the ground. I'm standing there, I've got no microphone. The guy who brought me into the room is just at the back of the room. He looks at me, he's like, right? So I'm like, oh God, Pax, okay, here we go. And I, I think to myself, Pax, you're a comedian, you do this for a living, do some crowd work. Crowd work usually breaks the ice, gets things going, right? So I point to one of the guys and I go, hey mate, look, I don't know their names, okay? I just know them by their scandals, right? <laughs> like as they were walking in, I was like, whoa, it's dick pic. Oh, public urination. Oh, airport bathroom sex. <laughs> so I point to airport bathroom sex. <laughs> and I go, hey mate, what do you do for a living? As a joke. It's a gag question. And with zero irony, he looks at me and goes, oh, I play professional rugby. <laughs> and nobody laughed! <laughs> the other reason why it was weird is because Kieran Reed was in the audience. The reason it was weird that Kieran Reed was in the audience is because I got to interview Kieran Reed a couple of months before I did this gig because I used to be a breakfast radio host, right? So during the breakfast radio interview, my co-hosts were being very professional, asking him great rugby questions. I'm a comedian, all I care about is my joke, right? So as soon as I found my window of opportunity, I jumped through it and I said, hey, Kieran, did you get burnt in the summer? And he went, nah, nah, I didn't name man. And I went, oh, true. Probably because you've been in Richie McCaw's shadow. <laughs> <laughs> and then I laughed and he fucking didn't. <laughs> So he's there, he's standing there. He still hates me, clearly. Like, he's just staring at me. <laughs> I gotta do this gig. I'm booked in for like 30 minutes. Eventually, everyone starts having fun. Even Karen starts laughing. It's a good gig, right? The gig's over. There's one person that doesn't laugh. Everyone's laughing. One person that doesn't laugh. Forget laugh, doesn't even crack a smile. Just stands at the back of the room and stares at me. Steve Hansen. <laughs> Right? He just stares at me, which sucks, because he's the coach of the All Blacks. He's the coach of arguably the greatest team of all time across any code, right? It sucks that the coach of this team thinks I'm bad and doesn't like me. So the gig's over, the boys stand up to thank me, right? They all line up and they're like, good gig, 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 good gig. It's 21 good gigs. And then Steve Hansen's at the back of the line. 
and I am so scared at what he's going to say to me. Because in my mind, Steve Hansen doesn't like me, right? All the boys are gone. Steve Hansen walks right up to me, looks me in the eye, and goes, you're a very talented young man, you have a bright future, and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Shat my pants. <laughs> Uh, the next day, the All Blacks sent me the invoice for how much they're paying me, and um, I'm actually a huge All Blacks fan now, eh? <laughs> Thank you, guys. My name is Pax. You guys have been a great crowd. Have a good night. See ya.